hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome today i would like to share with you this watercolor winter tutorial how to paint beautiful snowy rose hips branch all supplies you can find in description box and there is also on the link the template to use download it down and enjoy the painting for this painting, I'm going to use only six watercolors, the color list you can find in the description box. To create the snow, I use titanium white. I'm going to start by fixing the paper on the desk with the soft rose paper tape. Rose addition of tape doesn't damage the paper after removing it and I need to stick down the paper firmly. I'm going to draw my rose hip branch with micro graphite pencil HB and uh, I'm going to start drawing on the top of the right side. I'm drawing the shape of the branch. Then the shapes of rose hips. On the top of each rose hip and branch too, with the really fine line I draw the outlines for future snow. These parts stay white all the time, we create details later. You can follow along and paint with me to my demonstration, but I would like to encourage you to draw your own rose hip branch. If you don't dare to do it with me, the outlines template is ready on the link in the description box. I'm removing out some of the draw lines because I pressed the pencil down too hard and I'm afraid the lines will be still visible even though I overlaid them with watercolor. And I wouldn't say I like it. But in this case it isn't necessary, the wall painting will be sliced in dark hues. Load with clean water the bigger round brush, my own is I think number 5, and dump the paper along the rose hips branch. How much water is enough? If it's your paper glossy on surface from water, it's alright. Mix the ultramarine and pincer blue with water into vibrant color and start painting on the top with the long strokes along the branch. Let the blue color to blend with wet paper. Don't forget the white areas on the top of the rose hips for snow. Keep them white and paint carefully around them. I 
add some winter blue. I need this part as dark as possible. Mix other blue with water into watery blue color and add it on the top. Let the color blend with wet paper freely. Part at the bottom, I let in watery blue colors. This is a mix of watery azure blue and winter blue. I'm painting some details and neat lines around the branch. I'm filling every thin gap. The line close to branch at the bottom needs to deepen to increase the contrast. I'm painting this part with vibrant other blue. My paper is still wet, the colors don't make the hard edges and blend them it's easy. Keep your painting moist and gently wash the edges of the colors to make them smooth. Okay, it's time to let it dry. Now is the time to paint the rose hips. Mix ruby red with water into vibrant color. I'm starting to paint at the bottom of the first rose hip with the neat bottom line. I fill only half of rose hip, then with a clean wet brush I spread the color to the edge. I need the top of the rose hip lighter than the bottom part to create the illusion that the rose hip is round, not a flat one, I add more red, then another one. Keep the tops of the rose hips in pale muted red color. I mix the sepia brown with water and into wet painting I'm going to add some contrast lines to deepen the bottom parts of the rose hips. At the bottom, paint the neat line and the brown color gentle blend with the red. The same technique I'm using on all of the rose hips. The most important things is to let on the top the pale spot as a highlight and at the bottom a darker red part. Let the rose hips dry and continue to the branch. Mix the sepia brown with painless grey into vibrant color and with long strokes paint the branch. Let it dry. This is most important to be sure all your layers are completely dry because we are going to work on details. 
each rose hip has on the top the little spot with black thin and small hair. I'm going to paint it. Switch the brush to a smaller size. I use number 2 or 1 and with dark paint is grey paint them. Hair by hair the little spots on each of them. For the second time be sure that your painting is completely dry. I'm going to create the snow and I need it to keep it in pure white. Mix the titanium white only with a drop of water into thick white color. Switch the brush to a bigger one. I'm using the number 4. Dry your brush and here is the trick on how to create the snowy effect with structure. Dab the brush into thick white but only on the top of the point. I'm dabbing with a semi-dry brush on the top of the rose hips, on the top of the branch. Great, it seems like frozen snow. If you want, you can create some falling snow. It's easy. Mix the titanium white with a bit of water to a liquid consistency. Load the brush and dab the brush over your finger to make some splotches. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my today's video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more tutorials. And you can check my Instagram too or if you want. See you soon. Bye. Mwah.